Hi everyone again. So I thought that if I kind of kept my mouth closer to the mic, then the volume could at least be higher because I've noticed that Samsung mobiles, their microphones are kind of not so good. Actually, when the first time when I got this um, phone, the mic was, you know, just average. And then they, they did an update and after that I found the mic pretty good. But now I think they did another update and it's gone back to kind of average. So, I mean, basically the quality, uh, or should I say the, you know, the the volume of my voice, um, it's, it's, it's pretty low um, on this mobile. That's why I prefer to use my laptop, but obviously there's no light. So that is why I'm... Uh, on my mobile and you must have noticed that especially the podcast episodes that I upload um, for my ESL students you've noticed that the volume is probably lower compared to the volume of my normal podcast episodes and that's simply because um, when I'm I'm literally just um, uploading tips and guidelines that I send them um through voice messages um and then you know i kind of they they then you know kind of request that i also add those clips you know um on the podcast and all in case they want to go through it again in case they you know accidentally um delete it or later on if something happens at least they know that there is some place they can go to listen to it all over again and so you must have noticed the the quality of the sound. It's different. And I thought, <laughs> like an idiot, I mean, I kind of thought that if I put my mouth a bit closer to the mic, you know, but I noticed that it, it ended up just making it seem as if I was standing in a blizzard and, you know, that there was, uh, uh, I mean, you could literally hear sounds of, of uh, it was actually sounds of my own mouth, I guess, breathing in and out as I emphasized on words. It wasn't my breath, actually. It was just, you know, when you talk too close to the mic, then the uh, the sounds... <laughs> well, I mean, you know what I'm saying anyway, because you've already listened to it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about um, what exactly to say regarding the ongoing sky electric issue um, and i'm thinking that i am going to wait and see if um you know uh, let's hope it really is something as small as just uh, replacing the board or replacing the cards or whatever because if that is the case then you know at least uh, but i i mean as i said it's just that i've because of my constant experience with you know people here is that whenever they replace things or fix things or repair things then you kind of feel as if you know something's gonna go wrong because something does always go wrong so i really don't know i don't know i really hope somehow that they manage to get uh, a fresh piece a fresh replacement but that according to them will take a week and uh, i've warned them many 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 times that they should not um you know, repair, because uh, I've constantly reminded them that in my experience, their repairs never go well, but let's see. Let's see, I'll update you. Um, it's going to take one or two more days, which means that I am at the mercy of uh, our incompetent government and our corrupt government, actually, and at the mercy of our corrupt let's go and... Uh, now they've actually started fiddling with the gas yeah i mean as if it wasn't enough you know literally literally um you know what our water and power supply department does is that um when it's summers um it's like they literally count the acs the number of acs in a house and then they just make up the bills that's what they've been doing with this government before and now again and as if that wasn't enough because the government has just emptied the treasury and you know emptied everything and they're just trying to steal left right and center before they can hand us over to america to um use us as the war ground for them um they are thinking that they should try to take as much more money as they can from this country before they flee 
and now it's it's they've decided to tamper with the gas bills i mean as if tampering with electricity bills wasn't enough they've been charging people millions and millions of rupees in bills for electricity and they've been charging even those people who use solar yeah even those people who have solar systems set up in their house and are producing and using their own electricity they have been charged bills people who do not even have electricity as in they have no connection whatsoever they have been charged millions of rupees in bills and now they're now it's winter so they've started two things first they have started um a gas load shedding okay and then they have started um again billing us thousands and thousands of rupees in gas it's always been just a few hundred rupees in gas because we produce our own gas we have 200 years worth of natural gas reserves which they deliberately closed down they closed down some of the wells of our natural gas and now they're creating an artificial shortage Again, you know, they're trying to build the whole situation, you know, to make it conducive for war because America has already used Europe, um, you know, by starting the war in Ukraine. Um, and that was something that everybody predicted. And it's completely idiotic of Europe not to even stop that because, come on, the whole world knew that America was now going to um, ruin and destroy Europe's economy using Ukraine's war as a pretext and that is exactly what America did even before America started the war we knew that they were going to do this and uh, the fact that um, that Europe still fell for that trap I mean that is absolutely moronic but then again it's it's the government isn't it the governments are in cahoots I guess like our government our government is the US puppets they were specifically paid to come to Pakistan and they came with full US backing full US funding so that they could topple Imran Khan and take over because Imran Khan was not budging and he was not giving the U.S. any leverage whatsoever and um, he was not giving the U.S. any foothold into Pakistan, basically. So, as always, the minute this government comes in, suddenly we are having terrorist activities and bombs and this and that. I mean, we all know that our own government is doing it. Um, and as soon as this government comes in, then you know, assassination attempts on Imran Khan are being um, done. And then they are resorting to absolute third-class vulgarity, um, you know, to ruin the reputations and images of their political rivals, which is, again, something they've always done. But this time, they've taken it on a new low. So with all of that going on, Pakistan is pretty much fucked. It has always been pretty much fucked. Um, I don't think this country has any future, to be very honest. Uh, but now, obviously, the whole world has come down to that level. Uh, there is no country that has any real future. I think the only countries that have always had any real future were the countries that stayed neutral and the countries that are not very well known on the map. And I say kudos to those countries that have decided not to be very well known on the map because that way they steer clear of all of this bullshit that America seems to be putting the whole world through every single time. I mean, it's been more than 100 years of America um, warmongering and I don't know how much more longer that's going to go. Because we all know that America will never, ever, ever sit still on its own unless it is actually um, totally uh, made to shut up completely and tied down by the rest of the world. Um, but obviously because the Western world has always been, uh, you know, um, they have always uh, been warmongers one way or the other. So for them obviously to, you know, work together to create chaos all over the world that's pretty common. I mean, that's their pattern throughout history. But let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes. And I'll also update you in a day or two regarding this whole mess that our Sky Electric solar system installers, maintainers, and whatnots are up to. Okay, you take care for now.